I need some answer guys. Uh, I'm not able to hear you. Okay. So when I am in Q1 and I get a symbol A, what happens? Correct. When I am in transition Q0, when I am in state Q0 and I receive a B, what will happen? It's an empty. Okay? It's nothing. Similarly, when I am in Q1 and I get B, what will happen? It is Q1. So, in similar fashion, you can complete uh, all the things. Okay. So, this is the all about the transition function for a uh, NDFA. That is a mapping of Q cross alphabet to my power set of states. It can have all the uh, power set. Okay. So, it will be, uh, it will be uh, 2 to the power Q. Understood? Now, now let us uh, come to another concept called extended transition function. What is extended transition function? Do people remember? So, extended transition function operates, first of all transition function operates on a single input symbol, okay. Transition function, but extended transition function operates on a string of symbols. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, extended transition function is different from a normal transition function in the sense that uh, in a normal transition function, I am only, I will only process a single input symbol and, and decide my, what will be my next state, okay. But in extended transition function, uh, we will be provided with a current state and an entire string of symbols that is W, okay. It can be A, B, C, D, like this, four, four symbols at a time and I need to find out given a current state and the entire string w, okay, what will be my next state of state, next set of states, okay. So, this way the extended transition function is uh, all about. So, after processing the entire string w, I will decide what will be my next state, okay. So, so suppose, uh, so suppose uh, in the last thing, so, suppose I, uh, I have been given a uh, string, suppose A, B, B, A, okay. And I have to write the extended transition function for this. How will I do that? So, it is written as delta star, okay. I am in currently Q0, starting state Q0. And my extended, uh, my input string will be A, B, B, A, okay. And that will be what? Now, I can tell that, okay, this, this, this should be equal to delta of, okay, delta of what? Now, what are the possible states I will get by processing this thing, okay? So, delta star Q0, comma, ABB and after processing this string ABB, I will be remaining with uh, A. Understood? 
So how I am proceeding uh, in the extended transition function I have been given the entire string. So I can write it like this. I have to apply the extended transition function for ABB first. Then whatever the states I will get after applying this thing on the string uh, on the substring ABB, I will have to apply the transition function on the remaining symbol that is A. Understood? Okay. So here then again what will happen? It will be delta of delta of q0 comma a b comma b okay so this will be delta star q0 comma a b then comma b and on that i will again apply another delta with a okay Okay, so so what will be delta star uh, delta star q zero with a b? What it will be again? It will be delta of delta star q zero with a comma b. Understood? Now when I reach a single input symbol my extended transition function and my transition function will be same because because now the string is a sing single input symbol that is the only difference i have already told when uh, the uh, only difference between a transition function and extended transition function is that transition function will have on will process only a single input symbol whereas extended transition function i can give a set of symbols okay so now i can convert this thing so extended transition function of q0a is what? q0a is only q1. So I can go to it is delta of q1 comma b. And what is so what, is, what will be my extended transition function for this thing? q0 comma a b. It will be it will be q1 with b. That is it will be q1 comma q0 okay now again i have to apply here so what will be my delta of q1 comma q0 with b so so uh, here another thing uh, just a minute delta of q1 comma q0 with b it's a property it's a transition function property that it will be delta of q1 comma b union union q0 comma b understood it's a it's a union property of the transition function it's normally means any function operators you can uh, divide like this okay so so what will happen here so it will be delta of q1 comma b now q1 comma b will be again q0 q1 okay and uh, uh, q0 comma b q0 comma b is what empty okay so it will be again q1 q0 understood okay so it will be again delta of q1 q0 so it will no it it will be q1 q0 now I'll have, I'll have to apply this q1 q0 over the first thing that is here okay so delta of q1 q0 with a so what will happen q1 q0 with a so it will be q1 with a so it will be uh, q1 q2 union q0 with a q0 with a is what no q1 so the final result will be what so, so
So, final result let me write delta of delta extended transition function of q0 with a b b a. 